Hi, I'm Cindy Tissick, Head of Education Services for the University of Buffalo Libraries. It wasn't too long ago that we received our information about the world via newspaper, television news, and or talking to people directly. Times have changed. For better or worse, now we have almost unlimited sources for information, and most sources operate on a 24-hour news cycle. Combine that with the fact that most people always have a cell phone with them, which means 24-7 access. How can we digest, think about, and use all of this information? Critical thinking skills, also known as digital literacy when applied to digital mediums, can help us develop a better understanding of the information in today's world. The American Library Association defines digital literacy as the ability to use information and communication technologies to find, evaluate, create, and communicate information requiring both cognitive and technical skills. In this module, you will be applying your critical thinking skills when finding and consuming digital content. Today, anyone with a device and internet access can create and post content. The barrier to content and sharing and creation is so low that it becomes quite difficult for the consumer to tell how legitimate and accurate it is. So how do we consumers determine the legitimacy of information? We become critical consumers of the news. According to Dr. Richard Paul and Dr. Linda Elder in their article titled How to Detect Media Bias and Propaganda in the National and World News, critical consumers do a number of things to keep from being manipulated. They study alternative perspectives and worldviews, learning how to interpret events from multiple viewpoints. Seek understanding through multiple sources of information, not only through mass media. Learn how to identify the viewpoints embedded in news stories. Analyze news constructs in the same way they analyze other representations of reality. Assess news stories for their clarity, accuracy, relevance, depth, breadth, and significance. Notice contradictions and inconsistencies in the news. Notice the agenda and interests served by a story. Notice the facts covered and the facts ignored. Notice what is represented as fact. Notice questionable assumptions implicit in stories. Notice what is implied and what implications are ignored or emphasized. Notice which points of view are systematically put into favorable light and what is in an unfavorable light. And they question the social conventions and taboos being used to define issues and problems. 